what's up i'm back again yes i'm starting the video off in the car again man i just love this interior i can't get over it but my honeycomb carbon fiber trunk has finally arrived it was supposed to be delivered but i missed the delivery and uh they took it back so today i'm going to see if i can go to the distributing center in san jose and go pick it up directly from them so i don't have to wait like another day or two but hopefully i can get it right away i can see it because i've been waiting about two months now for it and oh my gosh uh, i i want to put it on right away so hopefully i can go pick it up today i'm gonna give them a call right now see if i can go pick it up i'll let you guys know all right guys so i just pulled up to the shipping place i'm about to get my uh shipment in now i'm gonna put put it back here I'm using my girlfriend so all right, so we just pick up the package. This thing is actually pretty big. They secured it hecka nice. It's got wood. I can't wait to get home and open it up, but uh, we're on our way right now. This thing is huge. It barely fit the top of the ceiling, too. We're all set. Sheesh. Let's go. It's half a mile. All right. See you guys there. All right, guys. Just touch down at the pad. You guys can see how big this box is. It is huge. So glad I fit. Got about an inch there to have a little space wiggle room, but... um. I'm gonna go ahead and start with taking off the wood and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. But uh, I'm so excited, guys. This is crazy. I've been waiting on this for so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and open it up. Ready? All right, guys, here we go. Opening up the big one. Let's hope all is well. Here we go. Packaging is real nice. Came in all protected. Oh snap. It's gonna be crazy. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Oh my gosh. All right. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys, super light, here we go. This thing's not actually heavy. The crate was heavy, but this part, not bad. This thing looks monstrous already, I feel it. I feel it. Alright guys, here we go, we got the plastic off. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. There it is. Oh my gosh. Woo oh, we moly. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. What do you think? Good. Damn, that thing is massive. Here, let me show them in the back. Guys, check this out. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh, this thing is way bigger than the OEM one. Wow, I can't wait to install it. It looks so good though. The honeycomb on it looks so good. Wow. Huh? This thing looks crazy. I'm going to show you guys how it looks next to the car. I'm not gonna put it on quite yet, but this thing is going to look insane. Can you imagine it yet? I think this thing's gonna look sick. This thing's about to look crazy, guys. Here you guys go, here's the car. So for those who are wondering, the Q60 trunk barely fits in the back seat. Um, I'm gonna take it somewhere to get installed right now, but yeah, it barely fits in the back seat So pretty sure if you guys have a Q50, you guys can lay down the back. It should fit perfectly, but Q60 it does fit So <laughs> that's good. I'm about to go get it installed right now, but man, the car's looking good Here's the last time you'll see it without the carbon trunk. Looks all right. Not bad I for sure enjoyed it like this stock, but man can't wait to get the big old wing on there 
Sheesh. What's up, guys? My hair's a little crazy right now, but uh, here's the trunk. You guys can see it's right behind me. It fit perfectly, like I said, in the Q60. I'm actually on my way to a shop that's going to install it for me. I have to uh, do everything myself because I don't have all the tools uh, at home right now. And I also don't want to drill the hole uh, for the trunk right now because I don't have a uh, drill on me uh, as well. So I'm taking it over there right now for them to get it. Hi guys, so here's the car, the car's right here. I'm actually really brought, glad I brought it to the shop because they know what they're doing here. And um, for my trunk, you have to uh, cut uh, little pieces. There's already some spots that are open to cut in pre-drill, but you still have to drill initially drill through the trunk to make sure it fits and everything is good but right now they just finished drilling the trunk I'm about to take off the OEM one and then slap on the honeycomb one so right now I'll show you guys what the trunk looks like when it's off and everything's taken out and I'll show you guys what you guys have to cut for the Q60 trunk and I'll show you guys what we did uh, to enable to make this trunk fit for us guys check out this gtr this thing's crazy looking the wrap on this is sick another q60 up here too man this thing's clean though all right guys so the trunk is off there's the oem one and then here's the carbon one i was talking about so you guys are gonna have to cut holes uh in these spots just like how the oem one is in order to fit everything but um once you cut the holes it's much easier to install and you guys can just put the brake lights real uh in real easy but in order to get access points to all the bolts you guys are gonna have to make these cut marks but it looks good and then for the pre-drill holes i was talking about it looks like this so you can see it needs to be drilled but it gives you a, a guide outline so it can show you guys where to drill exactly see and then for the trunk it's the same as well so they left it indent for you guys to just be able to drill it yourself through and put the camera back there or if you guys don't want to you guys don't have to hook up the backup camera i guess just leave it like that but for me i want my backup camera so i'm going to cut this out hey guys what's up so i'm actually taking off my diffuser off the stock one um the oem one because the guy that works it that does the wrap you can see he actually wants to put that one on his q60 um because his does not have a spoiler but i think the black would look actually pretty clean on the silver one um i'm hooking him up with it just because i don't need it anymore because it's going on my new trunk's going on but i think it's gonna look pretty clean on that one his he has the ark cap back i think it's pretty clean he said it's probably about the same as the stillin but he also has lower downsides but this thing's pretty clean he has some pretty nice wheels i was talking to him and he said he's actually gonna do the project black x uh the project black x kit i've seen it if you guys seen it i'll uh see if i can put a picture in here for you guys right here But yeah, he's gonna do that kit. Um, and he's also wrapping it like Alex Toys Lamborghini, if you guys know that color. This G is really clean, it looks crazy. Super clean. A lot, all the cars here are like bagged too, I noticed that, but these are some really nice wheels. You got some Nismo racing seats in there. Some really solid builds here. And it also has a carbon ductile trunk. Really clean. And then we got that really nice ETR over there. But yep, we're finishing up the trunk right now. I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so it's done. This thing looks crazy. Fitment's really good all throughout here. Really small. Lines up really nice right here too. Fitment's good all the way through. Yep, lines up real nice all the way up through here. In person, you guys should see. I gotta clean it up because it looks a little weird right now, but man, this thing's so sick, dude. Holy crap. Dude, this thing is massive, guys. It's so sick now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this thing looks sick, guys. All right, guys, check it out. The queue is looking amazing. 
you guys can see it's the honeycomb carbon fiber this thing is looking insane guys it looks so good i'm so glad with it the fitment is really good the honeycomb on it is just beautiful and then it's got the perfect wing on it so it's not too aggressive but it's perfect i think it looks so good i hope you guys like today's video i hope you guys like the carbon fiber honeycomb carbon fiber trunk and i really thought it's so cool to do something different than regular carbon fiber because you see carbon fiber every day on everyone's cars so i just thought it's so cool to try something new and just be creative i see the i got these matching now with the trunk and i think it looks so good when it matches and especially in the sun when it hits the sun it looks so good so for the future i think i'm gonna go ahead and ppf this trunk just because i want it to stay real nice and shiny for me and i don't want any clear coat coming off but man this thing is so good look at it man guys this looks so good i'm so happy with it honestly if you guys want to get this trunk you guys can head over to miss infinity parts just to let you guys know if you guys do order this trunk or another trunk like it, it it will take up to about two months just because how big it is you guys can see how big the trunk is it comes very protected in a big old crate for you guys and make sure nothing gets damaged or anything like that but man two months and i can have this thing this thing is worth it honestly it was so worth the wait it makes the car look so aggressive it's a little bit different than just a regular spoiler that everyone usually has everyone just runs a regular spoiler but i think this is the way to go for the q60 guys man i told you i had big things coming this thing is awesome I, i'm just so happy with it i can't wait to start making more videos I can't wait to start putting some more parts on the car going to meets with it taking video shoots everything if you guys want to see more of this build head over to my instagram and you guys can also subscribe if you guys subscribe i post car content once a week at least i try to get as much content out there as for you guys so go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see it uh comment what you guys want to see next if you guys want to see anything specific let's just take one last look at this before i sign off oh oh my gosh it's so good it's so good well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm so happy with the turnout i'll see you guys in the next video catch you later